Hi there, it's Jen here from Genji Photography. I wanted to quickly show you how to use the Santa digital templates that we created for Ashbury Designs. Um, so once you download the files, um, it'll come with download instructions that take you to a link and then you download a file similar to this depending on what you purchased. Um, and it does come in a PSD file which makes it super easy to place your client's photos and save the image and be done with it. Um, so once you download it here, um, it looks like this. So there will do, be different la layers. One layer says place image here. So you'll go file, place, and then you'll just choose your image. Uh, one second, didn't have one ready. Let's go with this one. And then you'll want to resize it. Now, um, you will have to hold the shift key if you haven't updated your Photoshop recently while you're resizing. Um, if you have updated recently, then you won't have to hold that shift key. Um, so you can just resize it as you like. And like I said, it's already layered. So the mask is already on there. You don't have to do any masking. So that's simple. That's all you have to do. Um, there are some things that you can do to customize it. So where you see image mask copy, I've added some masks just to make it look like a little bit faded, like there's a little bit of reflection in there. Um, but if you wanted to paint on it with like a white brush um, at 100%, then it will go fully on. So you'll see the full image there. Um, or again, if you wanted to brush some off so it looks a little bit faded, like it's getting some of that light from the window, um, I just go with like a very low opacity uh, black brush. So I've already done that for you, so you shouldn't need to do it, but if you just want to mix it up a bit, uh, then you can do that. So what I would do from here um, once I went file place and then resized the image, um, I would just save it under that client's name um, and then I'd move on to the next one. So to move on to the next one, I just, um, I just undo. So I go to my history tab and go back before I place the image and then I'm selected here again, the place image here, which is my clipping mask. Um, and then I just do it again. So I find it easiest to do that. Um, that way I don't have to add a clipping mask. Um, if I didn't, so if I just kept this here and then I deleted this photo, um, then it does remove the clipping mask. Um, so what I would need to do is I need to go file, place, and then choose my image and then it doesn't have a clipping mask, so I'll need to do it manually, which I'll just resize. And this is just good for you guys to know, just in case you delete that layer or anything like that. Um, so there, and then I'll go layer, create clipping mask. And then that puts it under that. I hope that makes sense. Um, that's pretty much all of it. And it works the same with all of the Santa templates. They work exactly the same. They're all layered the same way. Um, if you do have any questions at all, feel free to mes message me in my Etsy shop, which is called Ashbury Designs. Thanks so much.